The United States and geopolitical dynamics for 2024. สหรัฐอเมริกากับแนวโน้มภูมิรัฐศาสตร์ปี2024 Robert F. Godek, Ambassador of the United States to Thailand. So at the COP, good morning, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to the Standard for the opportunity to speak on the geopolitical situation in 2024 and opportunities for Thai-U.S. relations. A few months ago, U.S. Secretary of State Blinken gave a speech at the Johns Hopkins School of Advanced International Studies. In it, the Secretary made clear that the world is at a hinge moment in history, or, as President Biden puts it, at an inflection point. Since World War II, billions of people across the globe, including all of us here in this room, have benefited from an international system that helped keep the peace, raised many out of poverty, eradicated disease, and strengthened respect for human rights. When the Cold War ended 30 years ago, progress accelerated. Over this time, the Indo-Pacific region was a focal point for progress. Over more than seven decades, the United States and its partners worked for a world where rules were developed transparently and applied fairly where countries were free to make their own decisions, where goods and ideas and people flowed freely and governments were responsive to their people. Now, not all progress was shared equally. Violent conflicts did break out. Atrocities were committed. Authoritarian leaders quashed the dreams of their citizens, and too many people were left in poverty. Still, over decades, there was real progress, particularly for the small and medium-sized countries which benefited most from a system that protected them and their citizens. Today, however, that progress is being tested. The international system, a system of international institutions and rules, is being challenged in fundamental ways. We see ever more assertive and authoritarian states and rulers. Competition and conflict are rising, and these conflicts and risks underscore that international rules and norms matter more than ever. We see the challenge, of course, in President Putin's ongoing unjustified war of aggression against Ukraine, in which hundreds of thousands have been killed or injured and millions suffer. Putin's war is a threat to the international order, the UN Charter, and to the principle of national sovereignty. The People's Republic of China, too, poses a significant long-term challenge as Secretary Blinken made clear in his speech at SAIS. The U.S.-China relationship is complex and consequential, and we do have very important differences. I assure you, however, that we are committed to managing this relationship responsibly. In any relationship, communication is key, and so Washington has worked to reestablish lines of communication. Just last week in San Francisco, President Biden and President Xi exchanged candid views on a wide range of regional and global issues. They agreed to continue to pursue high-level diplomacy between our two countries, and they agreed to resume direct military-to-military -military contact and cooperation on counter-narcotics. The U.S. is committed to maintaining robust channels of communication with the People's Republic of China to avoid misunderstandings and unintended catastrophic conflict. 
The challenges we face today, of course, go well beyond competition among states. Increasingly, we see groups and even individuals with the capacity and intent to disrupt the international system. Terrorist groups are one example, as we saw in the horrifying attack by Hamas against Israel on October 7th. That attack led to a cycle of violence, resulting in the deaths of thousands of civilians, including children. This tragedy, tragedy has had a terrible impact across the globe, including here in Thailand. There are still other global challenges. Climate change, of course, is one that is an existential threat to us all. This year, 2023, is on track to be the hottest ever. And across the globe, we see new and more dangerous weather causing death and destruction. On the public health front, COVID-19 demonstrated the risk to us all when new diseases spread unchecked. Well, the immediate threat of COVID-19 has receded. The threat of pandemic disease remains real and we cannot be complacent. New technologies are also creating challenges as well as opportunities. One of those technologies, of course, is artificial intelligence. AI has the possibility of transforming our lives, but it also brings with it risks. In 2024 and beyond, we must work together to maximize AI's potential while minimizing the risks. 2024 will also bring new tests for democracy. For the first time ever, over half the world's population will go to the ballot box. More than 70 countries will have elections, and what happens will matter. One of those countries, of course, is my own, the United States. We will hold a presidential election in November next year. The world will be watching, so we must get it right. Lead the way by example and find ways to support people around the world in the exercise of their fundamental right to choose how they are governed. Democracy will never be perfect, but it is the best system we have and one that courageous men and women throughout history have given their lives to defend. Democracy, giving people the opportunity to freely choose their own leaders is essential if we are to meet the challenges we face today. So, in a world at an inflection point, how should we respond? What should we do? For the United States, a key part of the answer is strengthening bilateral and multilateral partnerships. We must cooperate ever more closely with allies. And one of our most important allies is Thailand, our first friend in Asia. For one truth is clear, Thailand is central to the future of this region. Our relations began with the Treaty of Amity and Commerce in 1833. And after 190 years, our relations are strong. But in the face of today's challenges, it's time to take our relations to a new level. First, however, what do our relations look like now? Today, Thai-U.S. bilateral relations are a tapestry. This tapestry is government to government, business to business, university to university, and people to people. Our tapestry is woven of the threads of educational exchange, commerce, security arrangements, and so much more. Each part of the tapestry matters. Let me start with the economic partnership. Thailand is the largest economy in mainland Southeast Asia and increasingly significant globally. We saw the importance of our economic ties last week in San Francisco when President Biden and Prime Minister Seta were at APEC and in the Prime Minister's impressive engagements with major U.S. companies. The United States is Thailand's largest export market and bilateral trade has jumped 50 percent 
over the past two years. The United States is a major investor in Thailand, and U.S. firms operate across diverse sectors, including automobiles, healthcare, and high tech. U.S. companies support 200,000 Thai jobs. Security is another area where our partnership is strong. Thailand is one of five American treaty allies in East Asia, and our alliance with Thailand is critical to maintaining a free and open Indo-Pacific. Our military partnership with Thailand is broad and deep, as reflected in our 400 joint engagements a year, including Cobra Gold. We also have extensive law enforcement cooperation that helps make us all safer. Our people-to-people -people ties are good too. For example, in 2022, there were almost 5,400 Thai students studying in the United States. More than 30,000 Thai alumni have participated in U.S. government-funded or facilitated exchanges, and U.S. colleges and universities are engaged in research, faculty, and student exchanges with universities across Thailand. For more than 60 years, the United States and Thailand have also partnered in public health to fight the scourge of disease. Over that time, the development of vaccines and treatments, we have jointly contributed to saving hundreds of millions of lives across the globe. Our scientific cooperation is another key thread in the U.S.-Thailand tapestry. From air quality to river management to the final frontier of space, U.S. and Thai scientists are working to enhance our understanding of the world around us while improving the lives of everyone. As you can see today, Thailand and the United States do a lot together. We have woven a beautiful tapestry, but more is possible. And I believe if we are to meet the challenges in front of us, we must take our relations to a new level in the decade ahead. Working in partnership, we should create a million or 10 million new connections, weave new threads in the tapestry. What more could we do? We could expand the number of scholarships for Thais to study in the United States and for Americans to study here. We could find new ways to increase trade and investment and raise our shared prosperity. We could increase our engagement in the digital world and in the creative industries. We could expand cooperation in clean energy and put satellites into orbit. And we could, we must really, work together to help preserve the international system, the international rules, and the international norms that brought us all so much progress in the past 70 years. We can meet the challenges in front of us. What we can do together is limited only by our imagination. Today, as President Biden said, the world is at an inflection point. The choices we make will have a profound impact on the future we and our children share. I believe Thailand and the United States, longtime friends, can take our relations to a new level in the months, years, and decades ahead. And working together ever more closely, we can answer the challenges of 2024 and beyond. Hand in hand, we can build a better future for Thais, for Americans, and for people everywhere. Raujudur na, pai duigan. Kapkun makakrapa.